Greetings everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to create a custom heading. We will make a simple heading for our cat photo app by putting the title and relaxing cat image in the same row. Remember, Bootstrap, Bootstrap uses a responsive grid system which makes it easy to put elements into rows and specify each element's relative width. Most of Bootstrap's classes can be applied to a div element. Nest your first image and your h2 element within a single div class row element. Nest your h2 element within a div class column at extra small at 8. So because it's 12, 8 is actually going to cover uh, two-thirds of the space. And your image, and the other image with 4, so that will take up that last third. 8 plus 4 is 12. Uh, notice how the image is now just to the right size to fit along the text. Hmm, interesting. So what we want to do, we've got both of our images. And what we're doing here with the images, I'm going to pull this back so it's easier to see this. This is the next, we've got our buttons down here, and now we're going to create, we're going to add our images into a new row. So we're going to go div class is equal to row. And then we're going to increase the space here, and we're going to close our div. Okay, so now we've got the images on at their own row. Uh, but what we need to do now is um, create the separate columns. So div class is equal to uh, call xs2, 8. Okay, cool. And now what we want to do is close that div. Now you'll see that this image, it's still more responsive, but it is now only taking up one third or four or eight twelfths of the page, right? And now we want to make this one small enough to be right here. And so we want to add it into its own column. So we're going to go uh, div class is equal to the column at extra small um, on eight. And in order to make this successful, oops, we want to um, close that div. Now, this is actually incorrect. I need to make this four. Cool, and now it fits. And now you'll see that even as we resize the page, these still fit within this um, two-thirds and one-third situation. And so I think if we run the test, that should pass. Oh, it didn't work. Your h2 element and topmost image element should both be nested together within the div element with the class of row. Interesting. So what they're saying here is that they want this photo element right here, this h2, to be within our row class. So what we can do is remove it. I press Command X to copy it. And then I guess they want it to, oh, they want it to be within the row. So we're setting it here. And now you can kind of see why, it, why it's useful to keep your columns and rows uh, set up properly. Oops, I think I deleted the, yeah, we want it to be here. Okay, so this cat photo app element is within the row, but it's outside of the column. So the columns um, go underneath it. Okay, and your H2 element should be nested within the dev. Okay, so they actually want this guy to be within here. And this needs to be in indented as well. So now you can see there's a column, and this column holds all that one, this column holds all this one, and then this row holds all of that content. Uh, I think this looks crazy. Why would they want us to do it this way? Let's see what happens when we run the tests. Yeah, so I mean, even though this is all jumbled and weird looking, it still is the way that they're doing it. If I inspect the, um, I can go to inspect by uh, right clicking and pressing inspect element. You'll see this is our container fluid. And then when we highlight this, we've got, we're highlighting that row. And then when we highlight this, we're getting the column with the padding. And then this one has the same thing. It's the column and it fits to the side of that because eight and four equal to 12. So that fills this whole row. Um, if this were five, it would take a, a new row of its own. So it's making it four. If it were two, you would still have space, um, but we don't want to do that. Uh, anyways, I hope this helps you guys. Uh, we run the test, it passed. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next lesson.